Hey guys, Dr. Bowen here. It looks like we finally have some snow. So I wanted to make a quick video on uh, walking in the snow and also um, shoveling in the snow. All right, let's make sure that this camera won't fall over for me. There we go. So when we're shoveling snow, we want to make sure that we are, um, when we're shoveling snow, we want to make sure that we are staying in a good solid stance that we aren't twisting unnecessarily. If you're able to push the uh, snow, you're better off than having to uh, try to shovel the snow. So pushing is going to be easier. See if we can not do my face. But I'm going to show you right now. So say you have your shovel, okay? We're going to want to push the snow into a pile whenever possible. So push. When that's not possible and we have to shovel, we want to make sure that we can get a good solid base. We want to squat with our knees, but we don't want to twist, okay? So if you can push it into a pile, bend with your knees, lift, throw, you're going to be better off. If you have to twist, you want to make sure that you go you scoop up the snow, use your knees, stand up, twist whatever way you need to go, squat down again, and throw the snow. Because what happens is a lot of times we get people that will uh, go and twist and throw it backwards, twist and throw it backwards. And that rotating and that arching of the back is what causes a lot of people to have disc problems they hurt their back in the snow whenever they're shoveling. So we want to make sure that we are uh, staying straight, solid, and using our legs as much as possible when we are shoveling. Uh, hope that helps.